Hello, and welcome to the People's Mental Stimulus Update. In today's update, I actually have a, some interesting topics for you, for that matter. I mean, have you guys seen Donald Trump's new endeavor? Well, if you stick around, you, I'll show you what his new project is at the end. I think you might like it. We're also going to talk about the taxes. Um, I also got a clip about some guy that actually worked with uh, Donald Trump and explains why they call him Diaper Don. That's actually a good topic. You might have to stick around for that one. And then also, basically, how sick is Donald Trump, truthfully? I got a few clips here. They're all put together as one. And it's of how Donald Trump is really referring to other people, should we say, besides his daughter. So, and so if you stick around for that, we'll see it. But to start off with, we are, we're actually going to do the topic of taxes. I mean, as we all know, the rich pay a lot of money, well, so to say, very little money in taxes. I mean, it's, they, they talk about in the clip I'm about to show you about how um, rich, because 70% of the rich don't pay taxes at all. And if, if they actually tax those riches, how would uh, those rich people, how would actually have, I think, over $200 billion additional in our economy per year if we tax them? That's actually coming from uh, Bernie Sanders. So I'll actually cut out to that clip right now. So we're back. This hearing is going to talk about the need to end a corrupt and rigged tax code. We can no longer tolerate many large corporations making billions of dollars a year in profits, paying nothing, zero, in federal income taxes. The top 1% is responsible for 70% of the taxes that go unpaid each year. $266 billion every year. If we collected just a third of the unpaid taxes of the very rich, we could make public colleges and universities tuition free, provide universal school meals to every child, and guarantee clean drinking water to every person in our country. We need a progressive tax system based on the ability to pay, not a regressive tax system that rewards the wealthy and the well-connected. And as you saw, he basically said, basically what I just said, because I should clip first, but um, I do agree with him on that. I mean, we need to tax the rich because why should they get all the tax cuts and become richer when we become poor? That's not right. But uh, to switch the topics, we also got, as you heard me, talked about Diaper Don, referring to Donald Trump. We actually have a person that actually worked with him when he was doing The Apprentice and before, and he actually will explain to you why we call him Diaper Don. So, who was it? You want a second? I'll be right back. The diapers is not a joke. It depends. You know, Diaper Don is trending, but it's based in reality. He would often soil himself on the apprentice set. He's incontinent from all the speed, all the Adderall he does, the cocaine that he's done for decades. You know, all that stuff has a laxative and it has an effect on your, on your bowels. And his are uncontrollable. He's worn diapers since probably the 90s, but I saw it firsthand in the 2000s on Celebrity Apprentice in late 2000s. And we'd have to uh, stop the show and and change him, you know, and that was Keith Schiller's job. He would take him off set, he would wipe him down. Our nickname for Keith was Wet Wipes. <laughs> it's not a joke, it's happened several times. And um, you've seen it happen while he's in office. You've seen he was in the Oval Office with Erdogan and you could clearly hear him sort of evacuating himself. He did it in front of Senator Feinstein. Um, Diane and as you saw, they call him Diaper Don because he does where it depends because of all the, the narcotics he took and the fact that he's still taking Adderall, which is prescribed methamphetamines. But now we know we know that he's partially sick. Let's go find out if he's thoroughly sick. This next clip you do want to watch because it shows you Donald Trump's true mindset when it comes to the opposite gender, regardless of age. The president and first lady are positive for COVID-19, now in quarantine at the White House. The president will be heading over to the Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. You're going up the escalator? I'm going to be dating her in 10 years. Can you believe it? 
It's really a beautiful baby, and she's got Marla's legs. <laughs> we don't know whether or not she's got this part yet, but time will tell. Your daughter. She's beautiful. Can I say this? A piece of ass. Yeah. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. What's the favorite thing you have in common with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate to her. I don't want to sound too much like a chauvinist, but when I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof, okay? She's probably deeply troubled and therefore great at bed. Back in the day. How come the deeply troubled women, right. they're always the best at bed? You don't want to be with them for the long term, but for the short term, there's nothing like it. Our first thing and as I promised, the point you've been waiting for, Donald Trump's new endeavor. This is great. You can love it. Trust me. You ready? You ready? Welcome to Trump Burger. How can I help you today? Well, today's special is the Locker Up Burger. That also comes with our secret sauce. We like to call it the KK Ketchup. Would you like french fries or do you want some insurrection rings? Would you like to upgrade your combo to a lift yourself up from your bootstraps? See, we're not as bad as people think. They always say that we're racist, but I don't see you. Hey, boy, go back to where you came from. So I see you brought your assault rifle in here, so you're automatically going to get 10% off. But your total is 2024. Yeah, every combo, every combo is priced at 2024. It used to be 2020, but now we had to change it. Yeah, we're not really good with numbers, so we're going to stick to that one. So what'd you think of those insurrection rings? Looked tasty, right? Oh wait, it didn't show them. <laughs> it was still funny though. I thought it ended some a comical note. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast next time. I have some more information for you. Till then, bye. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party. I'm there. I get paid a fee. Let's ride and